All right, so let's look at maybe how we can use filters to find transactions. So here's the scenario that we're gonna work with today. Uh, the Cannon Group and John Haddock Insurance Company are owned by the same parent company. We receive a check for $1,000 from the Cannon Group with no remittance information. I'm sure this has never happened to any accounts receivable <laughs> professional that we know. <laughs> um, so, you know, being a new AR person, uh, I, I'm not already aware of this information. I don't have the experience to know that yet. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to probably just look up the Canon Group because that's the name on the check. I get a hit here, so I'm in my customer list. I can drill down on this balance, balance field um, to open up the details of what is making up this balance. And I think this concept, once you understand this, uh, it makes it really easy to navigate through a solution and create custom views. So when I just drill down on the balance here, all NAV is doing is bringing to my, me to my customer ledger entry and pre-filtering it for me where my customer number is 10,000, that's the Canon group, and open items are yes. So it's really just a filtered view of the customer ledger entries. So as I look here, I don't see anything for $1,000 or that's making any sense to me. So I'm going to try to break the open filter to view all ledger entries because maybe the customer sent me a, a duplicate payment. So I'm doing my investigation. I'm going to break this filter. Um, still not seeing any invoices for $1,000 or anything that makes any sense, but for good measure, uh, I'm going to filter by the amount for $1,000. And I get no hits for the amount of $1,000 for customer number um, Canon Group. So maybe the next thing I'm going to try to do is I'm going to break the customer number filter to view all customer ledger entries and see if I get a hit that way. So I'm going to break here and I can see, oh, I do have an open invoice for $1,000 for this customer, $30,000. And as I drill down, this is for uh, John Haddock Insurance Company. Maybe I do a Google search. I'm comfortable applying my payment here now. I know that they're a related company. So over time, being an experienced uh, AR analyst, I now know that this happens, that the Canon Group, for whatever reason, doesn't want to send me details on their payments, but sometimes they're sending me uh, payments for John Haddock. I can go into the customer ledger entries and filter with this filter bar here. So I'm saying, show me all entries for customer uh, 10,000 and customer 30,000. And you can see that's uh, reflective in this customer number column here. So now I can, um, use that multiple filter bar to be both at the same time. I think that's a great example, Noelle, and, and one thing that's important to note is you can do multiple ands within a single filter. So right. say there were three companies that were related, we could do company 10,000 and company 30,000 and company 40,000. Correct. 